I'm fitting on pull side using a tape measure. You get the dimensions. Sometimes easier to use, a bit of masking tape or similar. Set your measurements up for your fixing positions. Make sure the distance between the centre and the fixing point on the door closer and the centre of the fixing point on the rail is correct. Pilot drill where necessary. When fitting the rail, slide the end caps in. Making sure the sliding shuttle and the stop block are this way around with this stop block towards the hinge. Fix the door, close the body. The connector bar fits over the closer, coming away from the door slightly. is fixed on with a small screw and a flat washer. This can then be connected to the slide bolt with the allen key and the shoulder bolt. Sometimes easier with the door open. Now you're ready to adjust the valves. Closing valve First one to do, turn it clockwise to slow it down, and anti-clockwise to speed it up. Check the door, try again. The beauty of the TS24 is that it will go around to 180 degrees. Second valve to adjust is the latching valve. Turn it clockwise to reduce the speed and anti clockwise to increase the speed. This is from 15 degrees to close position. If you need extra power with the TS24, there's a valve on the end. You can turn it clockwise to increase the power, or you can turn it anti-clockwise to decrease the power. This can be turned several times. When you're happy with all the adjustments, you can slide in the trim plate and fix on the bottom cap. Alternatively, you can fit the all over cover, remove the cap, slide on the cover, and you're ready to go.